Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Welcome back to the West Ham Massive. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget, drop a like on stream. Put a comment in the section below. That's really important for this one because I need your opinions on this one. So listen to what I've got to say and I've got to get your opinions on this. Really important. Um, don't forget to share this to your social media platforms. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new content as and when it pops up on the channel. So I want as much audience participation on this. So I'm going to bring three strikers into focus so you, you've seen the thumbnail i'm sure you know who the three strikers we're going to discuss and basically what i want is i want an answer to two fundamental questions that i'm going to ask on each of them and so we'll go through them individually so the first quest first strike we're going to look at tammy abraham so tammy abraham has been at roma for a couple of years now he's won the europa conference league with them he was at Chelsea before that. Obviously been around the block in the Premier League. As far as Premier League matches are concerned, of the three strikers we're going to look at, he's actually the one that's got very marginally the most amount of Premier League matches under his belt. It's only about four matches between him and Ivan Tony in point of fact, but he is the guy with the most Premier League matches under his belt. Um... Yeah, I mean, he's a good striker. He's he's on the books at Roma. He's obviously got England caps as well. 26 years of age. So of the three strikers we're going to look at, he's the one that's in the middle of the group. And yeah, decent decent striker in, in uh, the last few years. Although it has to be factored in that he did have a pretty bad ACL injury last season at Roma. So... That, I think, is is a little bit of a question mark. What version of Tammy Abraham would potentially any suitor be looking to get? The other thing also to factor in is the fact that there is also, it would appear, AC Milan are sniffing around. Does he fancy staying in Italy? Does he fancy coming back to London? These are all questions that you have to ask with him. But Tammy Abraham is a, question, is a, a striker that is under the radar, under the microscope, that possibly... West Ham are looking to pull in if we do get another striker in before the transfer window closes. Then we obviously move on to Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony, striker at Brentford. He's got one year left on his deal. He was left out of the game at the weekend against Crystal Palace, which some people have taken to mean that his future at Brentford is, is up in the air. I mean, to be fair, it was probably the case anyway, because... As I say, he's got one year left on his on his contract. So he either signs an extended deal or release for free in the summer. And at that point, he can obviously negotiate a higher wage, a higher signing on fee, all those sorts of things. There is actually a, a whisper doing the rounds that he's actually attracting some interest from clubs in the Saudi Pro League, specifically al Ahli, And he's apparently put Arsenal on notice. And the, the story goes, that Arsenal have been sniffing around and Arsenal have been quoted uh, his wage demands, which even they've balked at. And basically what it means is that it would mean that he would become, if Arsenal were to give him what he wanted, he would become the third most paid player in terms of their weekly salary in the Premier League currently. Only two players would be ahead of him in the pecking order, both of them at Man City, one Kevin De Bruyne, and the other Erling Haaland. So that even Arsenal have said that's a little bit rich for us, and it looks like they're starting to back away from, from uh, having any interest in Ivan Tony. Um, as far as Premier League matches are concerned, he's the guy that's got the second most amount of matches. But again, as I said previously, Tammy Abraham had eight, has 89 Premier League matches currently. Ivan Tony has 85. So there's really not that much in it. 
He's also the oldest of the three strikers we're going to look at. He's 28 years of age. But then I would probably suggest that he's he's probably the one out of the three that probably is is sort of like the the currently I'd say the one that's at the top of the, of the peak of their powers right here and now. Um, then we obviously come to the other one. That's John Duran. Now, obviously, we know John Duran. We've been after him for pretty much the entirety of this transfer window. He obviously came on to good effect against us at the weekend, scored the goal that separated the two teams. Now, some people have turned around and said that his celebration was his celebration saying that he's staying at Villa or was his celebration saying that he's going to be at London Stadium. I guess it depends upon which angle you're looking at it from. I guess there's a lot of West Ham fans that would say it would he saying he's coming back to London Stadium in the not too distant future. But I know that Villa fans would counter and say, no, 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 he was saying I'm staying here at Villa. The other thing also that I think possibly could be a little bit of a clue is the fact that he actually has been given the number nine shirt. I'm a little bit old school and I think that the number nine shirt is a little bit of a, a symbolic sort of um, indicator as to sort of your standing at the club. Um, he's the youngest of the three. He's also the one of the three that has the least amount of matches in the Premier League. But he's he's a raw talent. He's someone that has got a, a lot of potential there. They're the three that, that are under the microscope. They're the three that Tim Stanton is allegedly running for all the, the rule over and, and seeing whether there's any scope to bring them to West Ham United. Now, I guess probably my question on all three of them that I really want you guys to answer, two questions, and you can get them in the comments section below. So the first question is, is that which one of those three would you, the viewer, watching this, like to get in at West Ham the most? Would it be Tamari, Tammy Abraham? Would it be Ivan Tony? Would it be John Duran? And what are your reasons for that particular call? Give me give me as much context, context as you can. Don't spare the detail. Um, and then the other question is probably slightly slightly different. Taking that one to one side, which one of the three do you think realistically we're going to get out of the three? More likely, if if any of those three. Now, the answer to my question, the, both of those questions from my angle, which one would I like to get the most? The answer of which one I'd like to get the most would probably be, it's a toss up between Ivan Tony and John Duran. I'm probably going to slightly lean towards John Duran from the point of view that he's the younger of the two. And as far as his weekly wage is concerned, he wouldn't be as expensive as Ivan Tony. As I said before, Ivan Tony has, has put up a demand that even Arsenal have said is too expensive for them, would make him the third highest paid player in the Premier League currently. I'm not quite sure we can afford that realistically. Um, you know, so I would probably say that out of the two of them, I would say John Duran. Um, but it's it, I would say it's a close thing, but I would say I would probably just on balance lean towards John Duran for that reason. However, when I then answer the question of which one do I think is the most likely that we're going to get? The answer is Tammy Abraham because of the ACL injury. I think that because of the ACL injury, probably his inherent value as far as the transfer fee is concerned and all the other facets that a Premier League transfer entertains probably means that he's the one that realistically we're the most likely to be able to afford, the, one, the most likely one that's able to sort of happen, if you will. Not my preferred choice. Um, like I say, he was a decent player before the injury. I'm not quite sure what player we would get after the injury. So I think of the three, he would probably be the one that I would like the least. But he's probably the one that I think on with my heart, hand on heart, is probably the most likely of the three. Um, but again, you guys might have a different point of view on that. I've given you the pros and the cons. Um, in my opinion, there, there's probably a lot of other things. That if I really wanted to deep dive into all three players, I could probably sit here for the, the rest of the evening and sort of give you the pros and cons a little bit deeper. But you get the gist of what I'm saying. But as I say, there's two fundamental questions to these three players. Number one, which one would you, dear viewer, prefer to get as a West Ham striker and the reason for it? But then question two is, which one do you think is the most likely 
And again, if you can give me the reasons for your answers, that would be fantastic. I'll try and respond to as many of you as I can. Um, you know, I've, I've hopefully I've been trying to engage with as many of you as possible. There's a lot of comments that come in. I try and sort of answer each one individually as best as I can. But give us as much detail as you can. I, I really do appreciate your input. Um, and as always, guys, thanks for joining me here on the West Ham Massive. Please don't forget to drop a like on the stream. It really does help the channel out tremendously. As I say, make sure you put your comment in down below. Share this to your social media platform. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Let's grow this channel together. Come on this journey with me and let's see how far we can take it, guys. Thanks for joining me. Come on, you irons. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on, you irons. Oh,